In this presentation, we will learn octal to binary and binary to octal conversion. There are eight different digits in octal number system. If you remember the first presentation on number systems, I told you base in case of octal number system is equal to eight. So R is equal to eight in octal number system. And hence we have zero to eight minus one different digits in octal number system. It means 0 to 7. I have already written the digits in octal number system 0 to 7 and each one of this can be represented by equivalent 3-bit number. The most important part of this presentation that we can represent each one of these by equivalent 3-bit number. 0 I can represent by 0, 0, 0, 3-bit number. 1 I can represent as 0, 0, 1. In the same way, 2 will be represented as 0, 1, 0. 3 we can write 011 1044 four, 101 is for 5 110 is for 6 and 111 is for 7 so this is how we can represent the 8 octal numbers by a equivalent 3 bit number this will be more clear when we solve one example first we will see octal to binary conversion The octal number is 37.45, this is in octal, and we want the binary equivalent of this number. From this table, we can write 3 as 0, 1, 1. 3 we can write 0, 1, 1. 7 we can write 1, 1, 1. So 1, 1, 1. Now we have point here. 4 we can write 1, 0, 0. 1, 0, 0. 5 we can write 1 0 1 so binary equivalent of this octal number is 0 1 1 1 1 1 point 1 double 0 1 double 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 this is the binary equivalent of this octal number it is very easy to convert octal number to binary we will see one more example on this the second example the octal number is 22.07 this is in octal and we want binary equivalent of this octal number 2 we can write 0 1 0 so 0 1 0 again we have 2 so I will write 0 1 0 then we have point 0 is written as 0 0 0 and 7 we can write 1 1 1 so this is the binary equivalent for 22.07 now we will move to binary to octal conversion the next part of this presentation is binary to octal conversion let's move to first example the binary number is 10110.11 this is the binary number and we want octal equivalent of this binary number we will again use this table Binary to octal conversion is little bit tricky as compared to octal to binary. In this case, we have to make group of three bits and first we have to locate the binary point. This is the binary point and for integer part we have to move from right to left and for fractional part we have to move from left to right. In first group we have 1 1 0. In second group we have 0 1 0 I can add 0 here to make this 3 bit adding 0 here will make no difference in the number so this is the first group this is the second group we have group of 3 bits and now we will move to fractional part we have to start from left and we have to move to right so the first group for the fractional part will have 1 1 0 adding 0 here will make no change in the number now I will use this table 0 1 0 is 2 0 1 0 is 2 so we have 2 1 1 0 1 1 0 is 6 so we have 6 then I have point and 1 1 0 is again equal to 6 so we have 6 so the octal equivalent of this binary number is 26.6 .6. now we will move to second example the second example the binary number is 1001.1 this is in binary and we want octal equivalent of this number for integer part we will start from right to left in first group we have 001 in second group I will add two zeros 
and we have 0 0 1 again for the fractional part I will add two zeros this will give me 1 0 0 0 0 1 is 1 and 1 0 0 is 4 so 1 1 point 4 is the octal equivalent of this number I'm adding zeros to have the group of three bits you can also add three more zeros and this will be the third group of the integer part 0 0 0 will give us 0 this 0 will make no difference so it is redundant to add this 0 this is all for binary to octal conversion now we will move to homework problem in first problem the octal number is 672.13 this is in octal and you have to find the binary equivalent of this octal number in the second problem we have binary number 10111011.10111 point one zero zero one this is the binary number and you have to find the octal equivalent of this binary number so this is all for this presentation see you in the next one